Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and the game is from the depths. Um, this episode is shortly after the previous one where I uh, shortened it just to make sure it was uh, not too long and I needed to make have sort of thought about the best way forward for our fleet and the character in general. So I've had a think about that and now I'm going to go ahead and put my thoughts into action and um, once I've uh, rebuilt everything um, basically I will see you in the map and show you what I have done. Hello and welcome to the map. Um, I have made the changes and uh, whilst because I, I had to do it in game um, there's a quite a lot of changes and we've now also got some battles ready to fight. Um, there is this um, unfortunately whilst we were working on various ships. One of our ships strayed into this area and triggered the 90 fleet, which is a bit of a problem. And um, also this force has finally managed to get into this area. So changes, uh, Raytheon fleet, um, same as it was. There's a little bit of damage to some ships so they'll need to be worked on, but otherwise okay. First of all, the Atlantis. We'll go and have a look at the Atlantis. Oops, uh, let's have a look. Now, what I have done is uh, effectively um, pulled all the ships on top of me, which is not good. Let's start that again. Uh, right, the Atlantis has gone back to a previous early version with NPCs. It's basically, I have sacrificed a lot of the internal components, uh, the resources. Um, got it back and built a much simpler version which gave us a whole load of resources I put lots of NPCs I think we'll need a, a few more actually for for uh, just to make sure we've got enough on here to uh, control it um, yes I'm I'm using the NPCs even though they are pretty shit uh, because they look good you know, I'm not now expecting this to go into combat um, ever. You know, this is just here for resource gathering and repair of uh, any ships, uh, building new ships, etc. And I'm just going to leave it at one of the resource points or maybe move it forward, but only as 100% necessary uh, rather than as a standard. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So we'll take that back out of play because it doesn't, it is for some reason has gone out of the resource zone. Um, we need to put it back into the resource zone and then look at what other changes have, we've, I've put into play. So I, I think it's actually still trying to make its way to the resource zone to be honest. There we go. Right. Okay. Out of play. The other ship we have brought in, I have brought in. The, Levi the, the Leviathan. Yes, took all the money, all of the uh, resources from the um, Atlantis and put it all into this lovely ship. So we're now going to see how it does. Now I'm going to get close. It's going to become the new flagship for the Aquanauts. Uh, after this uh, battle. So I think its first battle could well be <laughs> this fleet. So it's going to go in fighting. And because of that I think we're going we're to basically spawn it in on its way. And as soon as it gets into the area, or just before it gets into the area, the, um, I think we're close. Once it gets to about this point here, so it's close, we'll, we'll spawn it in so that it's a little early, sort of, so it can get its, um, uh, get under uh, water and not be, uh, have a problem with being taken out straight away by any of their forces here. Uh, give it its best chances it can. And then we'll bring in the rest of the Equinauts fleet um, afterwards. So let's have a look at the map. Let's get to that uh, position and then we'll see how this ship does. I've got the big hopes. Right, that looks close enough to me. 
And I'll make sure that it's ears do not try and go in. So, Leviathan come into play. So it should now. It's still got a few issues. Um, the uh, some known issues are the the uh, hydrofoils are still a little vulnerable and also the rear of the ship is vulnerable but I'll have a look at those at a different time. For the moment it's good enough. Right so we're just going to let this go forward until it comes into contact. I'm not on any weapons, good. And we'll see what this beauty can do against these ships. We'll get the Aquanaut fleet ready, that's facing them. We've got a Halberd and um, three other ships, strength of 90. So we're going to send the uh, Leviathan in, and if it's got any problems, then we will basically release the Aquanaut fleet. Let's get rid of the rain. It's handy there is actually a button to get rid of the rain, which is useful. So now, unfortunately, it's. Oh, is it going to go dark? Please don't go dark. Come on, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. Okay, so we're now in range where this fleet is being blockaded. So, in theory, am I on combat? I'm on combat. These should suddenly spawn in. on so uh, yes the um, it's a little the other problem with I've had with the hydrofoils is if the hydrofoils come in there we go we are now in combat and we have missiles away and it's just gone night time oh. okay interface off let's have a look what we've got over here see what damage we end up doing to them now Normally I don't want the Leviathan on its own. It is vulnerable to aircraft. It's one of its other vulnerabilities. That won't be a problem with the Onyx watch. They've got one thruster craft, which is very dangerous. Um, so the idea is it will be defensive. They have defensive, uh, sorry, other ships to help it. Okay, so these, all these are quite, doing quite well against my missiles here. So what are these? These are, a halberds, these halberds, ooh, they're shooting my missiles down. That's not good. But there is a lot of missiles coming in here. And even though they're still doing little damage, you see the frags when they get hit are still damaging them. Now, because I've got multiple AIs, some of the uh, have decided to go for a different ship means that not all the ships have, um, uh, not all of the missiles are being taken out at once. And the other surprise is obviously we have torpedoes coming in which uh, are not, at the moment in the game, uh, the LAM, the laser missile defense system, does not target torpedoes. So yes we're getting some damage on, is that another stockade? I don't think it's a stockade. So we've got the halberds, was that halberd and the yeah, two halberds, and this here, which, yeah, what is this? Whoops, uh, let's just have a look. This is a rampart. Okay, the rampart's taken a little damage, but we haven't done much damage to these ones here. We're still firing lots of missiles. Our torpedoes will be on the way. Let's have a look what how our ship is doing. Plenty of power. It's already used one load of ammunition, but uh, the missiles, a lot of the missiles got taken out, unfortunately. So, that is our next, uh, yeah, as I say, the, now that the, the, the Leviathan is in game, I will do little changes to it every now and again as we find a vulnerability and um, basically 
put it, um, you know, change it and uh, then refit. So here's another another sheaf of missiles coming in. As you can see, it does replenish its missiles quite well. I would prefer it if it was a, a little faster, and I may look at the um, repair rate for missiles. You can see the torpedoes now coming in here, quite happily taking out the front of this halberd. In fact, they're going straight through it by the looks of that, which is excellent. Obviously, the one it's decided to target, and as you, as you, as I said before, you, um, it doesn't shoot down torpedoes. So uh, here's some more coming into this halberd. So our missiles are now reaching the halberd, so their lands are not effective. Partially because the torpedoes have possibly destroyed some of the lasers um, producing facilities in some of these ships. So now we can shoot a little bit, a few more. Now I obviously haven't brought in the rest of the Aquanaut fleet yet. This is just purely the Leviathan. But we might as well see what can it do on its own. It's still got some good missiles coming in, those ones at the top, but I need some more big boom. There's still lots of torpedoes, I'm guessing, coming in. Let's just check um, as far as damage, hardly any damage at all. You know, 99% means it's just been hit a few times. The other minor um, problem I found is with the laser guided missiles, they are really good, except if the laser admitter gets destroyed by cannon fire. That means then the missiles can't um, guide themselves to target, which is a, a problem. But at the moment, that's not an issue. That's one of those things where, and I think that may have happened by the looks of some of these missiles are going a little high on some cases. Um, the infrared has abilities in it is fire and forget. Once you've fired it you haven't got to worry about it again. Uh, the disadvantage is the accuracy and what it basically can take over. Uh, sorry, what it can hit and target. Um, you can't choose a specific craft, the infrared just chooses whichever one is close in its range that it decides is hottest or, or uh, whatever its other effect it has. Uh, yeah, it looks like our lasers is, have been affected a little bit. There's no way of saying if you haven't got a laser lock, don't fire. So, but in this situation, they're still useful because the lambs are still trying to fire against them, which is hopefully will allow some of our other missiles to get through. Uh, have we still got torpedoes coming through? Hopefully we still have torpedoes. You can see over there that there is torpedoes still coming through. They're possibly targeting this one still um, generally because it is a, a lot closer. Still got a lot of missiles coming through. The missiles have multiple ranges, different styles. So as you can see, some of the missiles are high arc. Some of them come in very low and are designed for close range and they, um, the system also has free AI. Uh, one's purely for air to air, which we isn't really an issue here. Uh, one which basically targets the closest enemy. So that's why some of the missiles are going straight for this closest target. And the other one um, is the primary AI, which basically goes for the largest target. So that way we could theoretically be targeting uh, and the different missile systems have their priorities set for each of the different uh, uh, AIs depending on what's good for them. So the long range missiles just go for the large target and the infrared fast missiles only go for air to air targets etc. So, um, also means we're not firing missiles at a target we're unlikely to hit. 
it'd be nice to say that every missile can uh, kill every target, but that's not the case. You have to... Yeah, my way of doing it is be uh, a little selective. Tried and um, not selective. Give as many options as possible, rather than being too um, only one type of combat. Yes, admittedly, if um, another ship which has purely got one type of missile or one type of combat would be better, but only if it's in its ideal position. So, there's a nice little. Um, Screenshot. Uh, the Leviathan doing its damage. Yes. Oh, of course, not enough big booms as yet. But uh, we are still firing. Now, it has taken some damage by the looks of it, but not very much. This is, considering it's on its own, there is some damage being taken. And yes, this is the, the vulnerability I was talking about. It's starting to list to one side, which has a, then has an effect on its effectiveness. Uh, that's because the uh, hydro foils have been taken out. So, okay, enough's enough. It's doing quite well. It's, uh, it's just Force 90. I think that may be a little too many. We'll, we'll bring in um, some help for it. That should uh, just get some missiles firing at these little buggers, just to finish them off. There's no point in wasting our time anymore. We know it can work, and it will work quite nicely. It's still going. Just needs to. I need to work on the listing problem um, on this a little bit when it's uh, when the hydrofoils take damage. I've tried to make them. It auto correct, but the problem is that auto correction requires hydrofoils. If the hydrofoils are damaged, it can't auto correct. Now, I didn't want to fit it with lots and lots of jet stabilizers, which is what I see a lot of people doing in uh, various ships. I wanted to try and make it work with the you know basic uh, game mechanics that are available. Oh, looks like our, our uh, walruses and the sea lion are now firing in. So that should get us some damage real soon, I'm guessing. Yes, there's no way they're going to be able to hold against all of these missiles. The, the uh, Leviathan is now actually just firing missiles from its tubes directly into the bottom of this ship, of the Halberd here. They're not even getting a chance to launch. Look, they're just going straight into the underneath. This can't stand up to this type of damage much longer, surely. Although, maybe they're not arming in time. It's actually too close. They're not arming in time, and then they, they're going, oh, they are, they are exploding. Not as quick as I would like, but they are exploding. All right, the uh, walruses are firing their missiles in quite nicely. Excellent. So some of these, the, it does take time for these missiles to arm sometimes. The Leviathan is still there. Uh, what is its damage level? So it's 91%, which is not that, not bad really at all. hardly damaged and these missiles are still coming in now their anti-laser systems are doing a good job against these but I think there's just gonna be a few too many here for him to handle looking at the way these are coming in now they are getting them but they're still firing their frags out which still does a lot of damage and are we going to get a nice explosion here? Yes, it's... See, they've finally got through. There was just... 
too many. Sometimes it's classed as missile spam. My view, if it works, it's not wrong. If it works, it works. So hopefully the Leviathan will repair itself and uh, be able to uh, right itself. At the moment it's just listing over far too much. Um, which is not helpful. It's possibly because it's trying to turn at the same time and then the uh, two uh, the hydrofoils which are damaged are basically um, counteracting it and it's uh, basically causing it to list to one side. So these halberds, uh, this is very slow again, it's almost like, like a screenshot. Once more, but let's see. I'm not going to fast forward this one, I want to see what actually happens this time. So I'm going to zoom out and just let this play through. Leviathan is still firing uh, its missiles in, even though it is listing to the side. It's still firing. Just to finish it off, let's bring in the seals as well, and the urchins. Let's bring the whole flipping lot in. We will destroy them. What was our force points in comparison? They've got 23. It's 23 and 23. So uh, we've only got 14.2 in and they have 23 points. Okay. So and they're still doing quite a bit. They are still taking out our missiles before they can get close enough. There is some getting through, but not nearly enough, or as many as I would like, anyway. It is being effective. More missiles and torpedoes you can see coming in and attacking the various ships from the Leviathan and also our other fleet. The Aquanauts. Yes, this is good. This is good. Nothing wrong with this. It's getting there. Okay, while it's battling, it can't can't change the fleets. Just wonder whether I can put the uh, Leviathan into the fleet while I'm thinking about it. But no, okay, the, they're still damaging it. They are doing damage. It is getting through. It is just takes time. And this um, and at this speed, there is a lot of items here, a lot of um, ships out there, a lot of blocks that have to be damaged and destroyed. Um, I don't think there's, is there any way I can speed this up? I don't think even this view, this view just shows how much, how many missiles and other items are on this area. Look at that. I have no idea why they're going over there, but they are firing. There's obviously something gone a little wrong there. You can see all of the uh, damage being hit. You can see the Leviathan. Fortunately, it's partially run aground, I think, is its problem now. Um, see, I don't know why they can't let the AI decide, OK, I will not run aground. It's like aircraft and don't dodge um, mountains. If they would just make the same a um, pathing algorithm that they use on the map, whilst for the naval AI, so naval AI simply does not go um, um, direct itself onto any ground which is of a certain, let's say, less than, you know, is not above the sea. Sorry, not below the sea, 10 meter depth or something. Uh, make it auto guide itself. But hey ho, let's see how we're doing. We're still firing. Uh, yes, okay, so the side of the walruses is firing blind by the looks of it. Uh, it may have had a damage to its uh, laser system. 
see if one of them is damaged. Yes, one. They both. They've all taken a little bit of damage. Uh, again, if the laser system gets damaged, they stop targeting. Our Leviathan, unfortunately, has run aground, but it is still firing lots of torpedoes and missiles, which are doing damage. They are slowly getting through, and. Uh, the anti-missile system, the one in the centre, seems to have stopped firing anti-missiles, uh, which is good. But unfortunately some of the walruses are not firing as many as I'd like. Still, we have lots of torpedoes coming in, which is a uh, secondary uh, offen um, offence. It's just so pity this is a so slow, so slow, so slow. I set this at a quite a high block count for this campaign. That was on purpose because I like I'd rather have a big slow battle than miss something and you know, not see the uh, ships at all. So I think this is a better way of uh, uh, doing it personally. Now also when if they do make it so this is a multi-core, it'll run so much better and then having that high block count will be uh, of great benefit. Right, are we still going for it? Still going for it. It's still firing. Uh, some of the missiles are coming through, so someone's got their laser up. Um, we just need to finish these off. Come on. Not too much more. If you can do some damage and just... Yeah, the missiles are getting through. Just a little slowly. The Viathan is, is, is kicking uh, this ship at the top. That's slowly, must be slowly getting decimated. Here's my, my uh, zoom. Yeah, that's, that's slowly being decimated up there. It's firing every type of weapon you can think at it. But these cannons, these halberds, is still firing. Even though they are taking damage, we're not taking their AI out yet. Um, taking them out a little bit at a time. Not quite as effective as I would like, but they are certainly getting there. More torpedoes coming in by the looks of it, and we've even got one of our little small subs coming in for a close range attack. may not be that effective but hey ho and what have we got there that looks like a yeah, that looks like a war is, that has um, really seen better days uh, what have we got over here that's obviously one which is okay but firing in totally the wrong direction mm -hmm. brilliant yes one of the walruses have just got is that a walrus i'm guessing it's a walrus i can just see the i think that's a strategic well, it could be a seal, but I think that's a walrus. Has obviously got eventually hit enough to take enough damage. Right, this halberd is even lower in the water now. Oh, oh, these missiles are still going after this. Um, I think it was the rampart. Still seeing that as a primary target. Maybe it's still just bigger. Um, they are getting there and they are slowly destroying it. piece by piece. Okay, it's just taking a lot slower than is good. No, oh, we have something to come back on. Game music would be a bit better if it was a bit more constant. It seems to turn on and off a little too much. Okay, our Leviathan is still firing. We'll do a big view here. We've got one walrus, I think, is um, yes, that must be this one here 78%. The other one is okay, but not firing correctly. The other ones are okay at this moment, so just let them continue as they are. 
Leviathan is still farming it's got that 10% of damage which was enough obviously to to stop it being able to stabilize itself I think I'm gonna have to resort to uh, stabilizers maybe on the inside or something I'll, I'll have a look at it what I can do to to try and stabilize it and keep it a little bit more level it is still firing you can see that it's still quite happily um, firing missiles at the ship it's just not as effective if they can't launch properly but it's still a significant uh, amount if we look at its uh, uh, everything is okay um, ammo's okay power's okay uh, our metal I can't remember what we said I think our metal is up even despite all the missiles that are going here these are uh, Onyx watch are made of so much metal every time we hit them we get a, a bonus back so I think we must possibly going to be advantageous even considering we built the, the Leviathan and it's firing some of its missiles wild as well as the wars um, Now, again, I may end up fast-forwarding through some of this because this is just now a slogging match. This is now just trying to take enough blocks off of these ships so that they sink or they become ineffective. You can see there's lots of missiles over here trying to get to their target, but... Uh, once they're out of water, they cannot make the distance. These torpedoes here, we can see there is torpedoes being launched. And in fact, our Leviathan has got itself ungrounded, I think, possibly. Hmm. That's handy. You can see this rampart, it's, it's basically cored through the centre. You can see all, all those missiles were going through it, and they've, they've just made their way through the centre. I'm surprised it's even um, classed... We're ignoring salvage, yeah, yeah, we are ignoring salvage. This one here is, he's pretty much um, destroyed. I'm surprised he's still actually on the field at all. Uh, he's now just a thing. We've got, oh, this walrus has uh, healed itself and is now coming with a serious volley. Uh, that's nice to see. Maybe that could be just enough. This this um, halberd is not able to take out all of these missiles at once now. Second halberd has not been uh, removing or, or shooting missiles for some time now. There's only this one single one here. So if we can take him out or, or re remove his ability to destroy missiles, uh, then we should have a great benefit. At the moment, a lot of the missiles are wasted. Uh, a, because of the laser system. Again, the laser system is not targeting something, so it's shooting and not targeting um, anywhere. The second walrus um, obviously has got his laser system back up and running. Now on the Leviathan I've got, I think, the main battery has got some like four laser systems, one on either side and two on the top. So, and they're quite well separated. So the chance of it all getting hit is unlikely, but it does happen. Um, you know, sometimes you take enough damage that they, um, you know, the laser system, there's no laser system left at this pointing at the target. It is still doing damage though. Is this, this is the key one. You need to get this one taken out. I think as a priority. It is still tending to hit these other targets, although it's now aiming at the second Hellbird by the looks of it as a priority. It's coming in from the rear. Yeah, nice little bit of rear entry 
from some of these missiles that are coming in here. This is so slow. More missiles coming in. It is, it's doing its job. It's doing its job. It's getting there. Leviathan has got good repairability. Obviously, it'd be better if it had uh, uh, someone with tentacles. Uh, right at the moment, it's just using a lot of bots. If you look, is it still at 91? No, it's, it's repaired itself. But it is so big, to repair itself take, would take considerable, considerable amount of time. I will add a repair sub to the fleet so that that will act as a um, uh, basically stay with the leviathan as much as it can and uh, just repair it as it needs to so it's still firing these nice missiles out which are hopefully going to target something useful Okay, just had an alt tab there problem there, so I don't know what happened there, but um, tap me out of the game for a second. So anyway, coming back, it's still slugging match. Uh, this is too slow for um, um, this type of size of battle. I think we'll try and keep the battles a little smaller, but we've got to get through these large troops first so that we can uh, move forward. Um, how are my forces now um, preparing this halberd? finally did get taken out. This is the one that was still firing um, a lot of the anti-missile fire. Basically eventually it did get through and basically it is, it's now disintegrating. Excellent. Finally that's disintegrating. So what have we got? We got this is the next big target that needs to disintegrate. Looks like the rampart surely has got to disintegrate soon. There's hardly anything left of it. Leviathan's quite happily been blasting the crap out of it. Um, I mean, one of the walruses is very poor, poor, feeling very sad for itself at the moment. Um, and the other one is now up to full health. So we just need it, them all to fire at this nice little halberd here if it can destroy this one that will be excellent More missiles coming in from there. Some of them are doing a miss, though. Some of the lasers, you can see some of the lasers are working. Just not the most effective ones. Or should I change them all to infrared? Hmm. The reason I went for the laser missiles is for the aim point targeting. It will just aim at the uh, uh, target. You haven't got to worry about one turn. In the uh, in the missile, it will just follow the laser no matter what. But the assumption is there is a laser to follow. Unfortunately, you can't remotely put a laser somewhere else. So maybe I should change it to an, to make them all fire and forget infrared. I don't really want to do that. I, I like the idea of having some laser ones. But as you can see, it is wasting a lot of missiles. And all those missiles could be hitting, potentially, if they were infrared. So, ooh, I'll have to have a think. Or maybe I'll change 
one of them turn for red and leave one still as um, laser guarded. Remove that vulnerability from the system. Um, any other advantages of infrared? Disadvantages are, as I say, you can't choose which target it's going to go for. Oh, looks like this other halberd is, is going dis to get destroyed. Yeah, you can't choose which target it's going to go for. Um, you also it hasn't got the aim point target targeting. Uh, with the lasers, you can get it so that it um, fires at a particular target. Oh, looks like they are going. That's dis that's destroying itself as well. Let's see how this is now. So it looks quite good. See, it's slightly to the side, which is not good. So this listing to, to the side is what needs to be uh, changed somehow, possibly with stabilizers. So that's still firing quite nicely. So, as you can see, there, so there's a laser emitter on the side here. Uh, get down here. But that's on the wrong side, so that obviously can't see the target. Uh, there's supposed to be some on the top, but obviously they've got hit by the cannons and not repaired yet. There would also be one on this side, but again, it's got hit by the cannons, so therefore it can't be used for targeting. My character is obviously repairing the ship, and we've got lots of bots repairing the ship. And I'm sure as soon as a laser emitter is created, then um, all will be fine. Until then, all those missiles are wasted. Right, so got not too many left now. Looks like it's just this rampart left to destroy. Come on, machine. Come on. Some of those missiles are obviously damaged, that's why it's firing out uh, half missiles. The good thing is, it is still firing. It is still firing, and it has managed to do, do all of this damage. Yes, the rest of the fleet did come in as well. So once this battle is over, I will won't do the other battle now unless I have to, and I'll possibly put it into a second video. Or third video, I think, for today. Come on, come on, we just need this last rampart taken out. Then we have this this area as well. Thought actually on the Leviathan. I wonder if I can do an in um, in battle change here. Bear with me, just to speed up the repair ability of this. Now there was a spawner on the back of this. If it's still there, use it. Is it still there? Yes, it is. Right. You we want is a repair, sub-repair. There we go, so we don't have to put one into the flight, into the fleet anyway. So I might as well just get it to do it now. There we go. Just one. There we go, that's better. 
And once that's built and it releases it, that will actually help build and repair the Leviathan. It is a sub in its own right, so there's lots of these missiles. These are all the missiles that fired but didn't launch and have no targeting, so they just sit there. Um, again, waste of metal, but our overall, overall, we haven't gained a lot of metal on this particular battle. We have gained, but not by much, um, in my view. Oh, he's finally disintegrating. Okay, finally. Finally. Yes, you can see that he is finally giving up. means we can repair all of our ships. Excellent. Okay. That should give us a win. We'll see which one of our ships are okay and then we'll repair the others. Okay, give us the uh, win screen. There we go. Okay. Right, who's okay in the Aquabots? So, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. You think these other ones need repairs. And we'll go back there. As they repair, we can put them back in, and hopefully, this um, the sub repair will. Let's see, Aquanaut Fleet. Go here, and the Ryan Fleet can go here as well. Because we don't need them to go too far away. Because we need them now to just repair each other and uh, prepare for the next battle. So that was another little area we got. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, so we got this area, which is cool. Now we do have, though, this one here, which we now have to fight. I need to get them in here to blockade this to stop it going for our fortress, because I reckon he is going for that zone there. But we'll do that next time. Uh, I'm going to repair all of these my ships, get them into one fleet, um, and get prepared for this battle. Uh, so, another video will be on the way for the next battle. Um, these battles, though, are not great for this performance with um, the almost screenshot like affair they're, they're giving me. Uh, I'm not happy about that at all. Uh, but again, there is not a lot I can do about that at this moment. So hopefully you're, you're enjoying the game. If you want me to continue, please comment and uh, like the video and I will continue to upload them um, even with this performance level. Until then, have fun.